What's going on, everybody? This is going to be a small overview video of the Behringer X Touch into Cubis. I'm running Cubis Elements 9.5 at the moment. So, uh, I'm just going to go over what the buttons, the ones that I don't do what they're supposed to, but what they actually do, I guess, right? I know I showed some examples in the other videos, but figure try to do a better one. Um, sorry about the quality. This camera is just a cheap one. Uh, well, let's just get into it, I guess, right? So your zoom and all that does work. Same thing with moving up and down and your tracks. Sorry, I don't have the screen but I can only do one at a time. Uh, once I get better cameras, take more time editing and showing, doing the screen, uh, screen capture software and, sh and stuff like that. Your channels changes the page or whatever it's on. Channel backs works like they should. All your transports work. Your scrub works too. <coughs> But yeah. So okay, so we'll get it into it. Marker brings me back to the beginning of the track. I don't know. That's all it does. Nudge brings me to the end of the track, wherever the my end marker is, I guess. Um solo brings me forward in my markers if you have markers place which I do and then uh, it's replace yeah it goes backwards in your markers so I'm not quite sure what drop and cycle does right away I one of these m actually makes a marker makes a new marker but anyways let's get past that till I I'm not exactly sure so control saves your project alt asks you if you want to revert to your previous save ver version which I have a different version so I'm going to press cancel shift uh, is undo and option is redo read and write works for your automation touch I can't remember exactly what it does don't think it does anything latch brings up the mixer window and also closes it. Uh, for some reason, I have to have group on when I move my faders. Otherwise, uh, if I do, I'm not sure. It's not really doing anything right now. Uh, save, undo, cancel. I'm not exactly 100% sure what they do. Enter is the shift. So. Right now I have my function F1 key to be the pointer. F2 is the cut tool. So if F and then enter and F1 is I have it as a range selector. Um, so your enter is your shift key for your secondary functions that you have programmed in to your DAW. Global view brings up my my channel is the where your inserts is on your channel. Uh, MIDI tracks actually brings up all the difference. And for some reason, to do any of the other ones, I have to hold enter, press input, then now it's just going to show me my inputs. And then if I press even if it input again without the enter, brings me back to the, the MIDI, all the channels. So real and then audio tracks. I'm not sure what it does because it doesn't do any doesn't show anything up. The audio instruments shows me my effects from reverb, delay, limiter, and a second limiter. Auxiliary is my VST instruments for some reason. Uh, buses, same thing. Nothing. Outputs will show me my outputs. Stereo, mono, mono. Stereo. Uh, and uh, user doesn't seem to do anything. But like I said, as soon as I press any of them without the enter, br it brings me to all of them. 
Now display does work also. Beats and time that works. Tracks and it shows you the routing outputs. Pan your pans. EQ is the EQ on the channel is not the plugin. And then sends is uh, your FX sends. You have four pages there, so because it's selected on bells. That's why it's showing up there though. But okay, so plugins. Uh, there's no effects on that one, so let's go. So we got a studio EQ on the hook. And then uh, I've been having problems for it to show up on the screen. Like, so what I do is I change it and go back and then it shows up on the screen. It takes a few seconds. Which is a little bit of a pain in the ass. I wish you could just press the button and then uh, it shows up on the screen. But that's got to be uh, the way Cubis has their Mackie protocol settings, right? So hopefully they we can get that working someday in the future with some a firmware update or something because it'd be nice to have everything work like it's supposed to it, for the majority it does work there's uh, a few buttons here and there but but it would have been really nice to have the marker actually mark um, otherwise because now I have it set in my function keys so I'm gonna show the screen now because that's basically all I can really show about the Behringer X Touch at the moment. So let's go and show the screen, and then I'm gonna show the settings. Let's just see here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to zoom on this. So don't know how this is gonna turn out. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe I'll take the camera off the thing. Anyways, so uh, mine says studio. I know some of you guys, it says device for some reason. Mine says studio. I don't know what's the reason. Maybe that's the new update. Uh, okay, so studio setup. First thing you're going to want to do is go to your MIDI, MIDI port setup. And then over here, X touch, the input. It comes automatically with in all MIDI uh, with active but you don't want that active because as soon as you have this active and if you have a VST instrument on that channel I think you guys can hear that I'm just touching the fader and it's actually playing the note and it doesn't matter you can press any button it's gonna see and so you want to make sure that's unchecked okay okay so now yeah now that I press it it doesn't do it and make any noise so the other thing studio setup remote control if you don't have Mac control obviously you want to press the X and then choose Mac control and make sure your Behringer X Touch is in Mac control, not UE. And then obviously X Touch is your input, X Touch is your output. And these are the your function keys. And then the user A and user B is actually foot switch A one and then foot switch two, which I don't have connected at the moment. But I just figured that out yesterday. Those are actually the foot switches because you do have two foot switches as uh, for that you can. Uh, set up as you wish and then you have one more foot uh, pedal switch for sustain so you do have three inputs for foot switches so yeah that's I think that's gonna be it for the video I really hope this was clear enough for you guys and uh, ah, see that's uh, now the, I distorted that one in here let's go over here because also when you have that MIDI all input in, when you touch the fader, it changes the pitch. So 
now that's what it kind of supposed to sound like yeah right there so that was a pain in the ass when I first got the X-Touch and then I'm like, oh, I'm not even going to be able to use it when I have a VST instrument on. And uh, that was just a small little fix. Like I said, go to your studio, studio or devices, uh, in whichever case that you guys are, and then MIDI port setup. And then unclick the in all MIDI for your X-Touch. Okay, I hope that was clear. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, please comment, and uh, give it a thumbs up.